Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about an update to one of my favorite recipes. An update to the Bollinger Bands and RSI combination. This combination has been a staple for traders for a very long time with an incredibly proven track record and very powerful assessment of the market. Normally my recipes take me 5 to 30 minutes depending upon what I'm looking for. This particular modification took me roughly 12 hours. It is not normal in any way of the thinking process and I really stretched the limits of what the one minute candle is capable of. Here is a good example with ETH. For one trade I made an 18% profit. This holds true for many trades. For example, if we look at Bitcoin, you see that it pulled off in the last three and a half days an 11% profit. Let's go and find another coin. Here is one that pulled off a 4% profit. And this coin, generally speaking, is not one I would normally trust to having a high quality profit. TRX, the 10 cents coin, and yet it managed to pull off a 6% percent profit. Now not all coins do well. And let's see if we can find one that just doesn't. Okay, here is one for example. Even with this recipe the average profit just isn't that great. Let's pick a coin that has a very unforgiving amount of accumulation. And as you can see, this recipe just completely ignores it altogether. This is what we want. Bad coins don't deserve trades. And from the standpoint of this recipe, Beam just does not have what it needs. So let's pick another coin. 14% profit. Not bad, considering Ada is questionable for many people. So let's actually get into the unique properties of what makes this revision so powerful. Let's start with the Bollinger Bands. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes. Okay, for my upper and lower medians, I am using a super smooth smoothing average. Not all that spectacular, but still pretty decent in what it does. I'm using a median look back length of 237 candles. Again, so far pretty common. But look at my upper and lower deviation bands. This is where things really take a turn. Normally, Bollinger uses only two for its deviation. I typically use three.
but here I am using seven. I only want trades that have the most extreme volatility changes. That is what makes this Bollinger's stand out from most, is that deviation. So let's see if I can find, okay, there's the blue line. Let's see if I can find where this starts. And this has been running for a while. Here we go. Let's zoom in here. From the standpoint of the recipe, this begins with the volatility at the extreme level. So Bollinger's of a deviation of seven standards. So the median line with a standard of seven deviations. And now let's look at the RSI. Another unusual combination. Now you'll see the run length of 23, which is not all that special. The overbought and the oversold are quite interesting. 77 and 23. Not typical. But the thing that stands out here is the RSI moving average. Normally it's RMA. For this one, I am using the sign weighted moving average. So I am literally recalculating the way RSI works altogether. Which is why you see this wave on the bottom to be a little more curved than normal. It's not your typical ragged RSI loop. Okay, so let's go find another coin and see if we can. Okay, this is 11%. One trade cycle though. Okay, this one's in a trade cycle. Okay, 6% for Dash. Let's go find its closing. Here we go. Well above the average. And as you can see, it broke the upper median. Let's zoom that in a little bit. Just barely. But it broke the upper median and it pulled off a 6% average. Not bad. It actually looks like it might have pulled off a little more in this one trade. But this unique combination. And of course for our dollar cost averaging nothing overly spectacular here this just allows the combination of modules to function as they are you can set a minimum take profit if you want but i found this works well and it does what i want it to do on a more organic basis So let's zoom back out. So if you're looking for a very restrictive high yield recipe, then this one does seem to do the bill. Now the other thing about this recipe that is interesting 
is it does work with BTC as a quote currency. But I have not found any coins that work with BTC with ETH. Excuse me, they're tongue tied. So Ether does not do well as a quote currency. But you can really do some weird combinations. Of course, it helps to type right. And as you can see, it is in a cycle that you can literally take any time you want. With right now of a 2.9% profit. But let's go to... Let's see if we can find when it's completed a profit. Also in... Now remember with BTC you might have to move to a higher time frame. And here we have a completed profit of 34%. So if you do use BTC as a quote currency, moving to the five minute time frame can bring in some really good profits. So if you have a thousand dollar position writing on this, at five positions per cycle, $200 each, you're looking at roughly a $300 profit on this one position. So, as you look at your different coin choices, this recipe avoids coins that just don't represent extremes in volatility. And it does a very good job of it. And we can literally go on and look at coins that normally have a severe history that just don't do well and as you can see here is another one it actually had one position that met the criteria now you can sell by profit versus simply strategy you won't of course get the monster profits but it will get you out of the position quicker so this can also be used as an entry point only for a flat take profit system. And it does produce very good simple profits. Now if you do use a flat take profit, you will have to of course set the take profit within the DCA module. So as you can see, with very little changes, this can do quite well on a wide range of options. But like I said, you're not going to bring home the killer percentages with a flat take profit. So let's bring this back to a pure organic state. And let's go find a coin that has an unusual history to close this out on. And it stayed away from it. Not exactly what I was looking for. Seven percent for LTC on the five minute. Let's see what the one minute brings. Seven percent for LTC on the one minute. Short, sweet, and simple. So let's recap. If you want to take your Bollinger Bands to the extreme, look at higher band deviations. The higher your standard deviation, 
the more extreme volatility you'll trap under extreme conditions. And it also acts as a filter when volatility just is not that strong. So if you're looking for coins that only produce positions with extreme market activity, this is perhaps one of the best ways of doing it. And when you're working with RSI, changing the moving average can drastically impact how the RSI responds. And it can also be used to weed out a lot of unusual and unwanted trades. So for this classic combination, this upgrade and retrofit has proven to be very profitable. Be sure you always take time to look at unusual conditions because that will be the secret of your success in trading. It's not the common markets that you find profits, but the rather extreme markets that give you the best opportunities. Like, subscribe, let somebody else know about this powerful combination if you think they need help or if they want to take their trading to the next level. Bollinger RSI is a combination that is hard to beat for classical trading, and it is one of my favorites. Its uniqueness stands the test of time, and simply by playing with the deviations, you can achieve extreme results. Until next time.